Hey folks, uh, Kathy Williams de Vries here, uh, bringing you uh, your sixth clarinet lessons. Um, I'm using Smart Music and I'm using the Premier Performance Book 1. So we've covered how to set up the instrument, your basic embouchure, um, we learnt five notes, um, C, D, E, F and G. concept of articulation, uh, the concept of legato and slurring, we've figured out rests and uh, minims. Um, so just to recap, I'm going to do half rests are easy too and um, half rests the other way just as a, uh, a recap and then we're going to get into articulation proper. Uh, so da, um, and working on that. So this is half rests the other way. anticipation and that makes things a lot easier if you can do that. All right uh, so we've got quarter notes uh, called quarter notes here in Australia we call them crotchets um, and they're worth one beat out of a four four bar. Um, now we've got the concept of tonguing. Um, I brought it up but uh, this is where we really get into it. Um, is that you touch the tongue lightly to the reed and you say da where when you say da your tongue touches the uh, back of your top teeth uh, when the clarinet's in the mouth it'll touch the reed gently and um, it won't stop don't stop the air but uh, just stop the vibration on the reed <laughs> Eventually, what you could be able to do is you'd be able to hum really fast. So, this is quarter notes. some rhythm patterns I won't worry about that right so we're doing um, now uh, various different little rhythm lines um, on various notes so I've got this full rhythm lines one with C and D we're building up our tonguing skills. 
Alright, now we're doing the same with ENF. smart music to um, you know to repeat it several times all right now we're going to play a French song uh, which is actually Claire de la Lune um, you'll recognize it let's play that a couple of times <laughs> and semi breeze and it repeats a couple of times <laughs> something in 2-4 time we have different time signatures so the most common is 4-4 four, four, meaning 4 crotchet beats but 2-4 two, is 2 crotchet beats per bar so the bar looks a bit different it's only half of what we've been used to doing doesn't interfere with the embouchure. The embouchure means to be very, very steady. Let's practice that one again. at any time as well that's why I love smart music okay now um, we're going to play merrily we roll along and we come into the concept of repeats and first and second time bars the way it works with the repeat you've done that before you just play the whole thing again with first and second time bars what you do is you play um, and um, when you get to the first time bar, so you just play those bars um, and then when you reach the repeat sign at the end of the first time bar, go back to the beginning, play passage again 
but instead of going to the first time bar you go to the second time bar and finish so it goes so merrily we roll along goes something like this smart music. Um, right, let's play that again. C, D, E, and F. And repeating it a couple of times. first duet um, and I'm assuming that we play the top line I'm sure we can swap but I would advise you to play all three lines <laughs> Lesson number six. Uh, lesson number seven. I'm going to be teaching a new note, A. So that should be fun. So hope this lesson's been fun. I've certainly had fun. Thanks for listening. Bye for now. <laughs>